Yeah, I feel like um, the Course is bringing us to this experience that, that in order to have peace of mind, we have to raise up the ego belief system in the mind and, and, and release it, be free of the filters. So, you might say that the human condition, like Abraham Maslow had his hierarchy of needs and sexuality would be right down in the, those lower uh, basic needs of human beings. And you might say that the very belief in need is, is egoic. Uh, in heaven there are no needs. In oneness or perfection there are no needs. So, so in terms of sexuality, it's basically part of the perception of being a human being. Um, you know, hunger and thirst, sexuality, there's, there's things that psychologists like Maslow would say those are basic needs. And then as those needs are fulfilled fairly regularly, then the mind can kind of raise up a bit and advance into higher order needs. And he would call that self-actualization. Um, you might find on the way up a deeper intimacy, a need for deep, deeper intimacy, and then ultimately to remember who you are uh, as a spirit. That would be at the top of the pyramid. So none of those things can be ignored. So when we teach the Course, we're really teaching about the process of forgiveness and the teachings of forgiveness, how this is applied in your mind, giving great instructions and details. But in terms of sexual expression, um, you might say that um, sexual expression is a is uh, our distorted miracle impulses. Um, when Jesus first was dictating the Course in Miracles to Helen Schuckman, um, he actually didn't use the word sexual impulses at the beginning. He basically, he basically said physical impulses are distorted miracle impulses. So that, that's a broad, much broader category than sexuality and sexual impulses. We could say Hunger, thirst, the desire to be warm or, or cool or maintain a moderate temperature with the body. All the things that we would say are part of the human condition are part of this distorted miracle impulse where basically every moment of every day you're being called back to God. You're being called into the miracle. You're being called to forgive. But that miracle impulse, almost like if it was like a beam of light uh, coming like in our little skin here where the little beam of light was coming into the darkened world. And that beam of light comes through the ego filter, which is one of lack and need. Then it comes out on the surface of human consciousness as cravings and needs. So even when we're hungry, that's God calling. When we have sexual desire, that's God calling. When we're getting tired and fatigued, that's God calling. <laughs> you know, when we want stimulation or music or a massage, uh, when we're thirsty, that's God calling. You know, the miracle impulse, it would be like a beam of light coming, calling us home, calling us to return back to heaven. And when it comes through the filter of the ego, it just comes out on the surface as, I need this, I need that, I want this, I want that. So I've already mentioned like uh, the 23rd Psalm in the Bible written by David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. As long as the mind believes in the ego, of course there's wanting, because the ego is the belief system in lack. That's where the wanting comes from. There's no wanting in heaven. But you have to work with the Holy Spirit and Jesus on really clearing that belief system in lack so that you can experience those miracle impulses directly, not through the filter. And what would that be if you experienced it directly? Well, that's, there's all kinds of prompts and guidances of what to say, what to do, how to be truly helpful. That's like the prayer at the beginning of the Course, I'm here only to be truly helpful. That's why we're called through A Course of Miracles to be miracle workers. Thank you.